Is it possible for God to literally forget? The answer to that is no. Now, we know in scripture that God tells us that uh, he will cast our sins as far as the east is from the west, and he will have no more remembrance of our sins when we are born again, which we become born again by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of our sins. As this occurs, we receive the Holy Spirit, and he is the seal of uh, for the day of redemption, he is the seal of our faith and the validation that we are truly born again. But can God? does God literally forget? This is more hyperbole from the standpoint that he's not going to hold us accountable for our sin. On that final judgment day, when we're covered by the blood of Christ, God's not going to uh, uh, remember our sins in the sense that we are covered by the blood and we're not going to have justice done by being sent to the lake of fire and damnation forever. So God doesn't forget our sins from that standpoint. But we also know from scripture, uh, I believe it's in 1 Corinthians uh, 9, uh, but also in the Gospels and in Ecclesiastes, every, uh, in many places in scripture, it discusses how God, uh, whatever was done in darkness will be brought in the light. How God will bring every work into judgment including every secret thing, whether good or evil. And we know that uh, whatever every uh, idle word will be brought forth to him to whom we must give an account. So when we come to understand this, God cannot literally forget because knowledge itself dwells within him who is knowledge. God is all-knowing. There is no knowledge without God. And whatever knowledge is and that we come to understand exists only because God is knowledge. So if God truly is knowledge himself, as 1 John says, God is love, we can love because of God. We experience love because of God. But God is, is literally not only the giver of love, he not only extends love, but he himself is love. And likewise is it with all God's other attributes. There is no power unless God is power. There is no knowledge unless God is knowledge. So God, uh, their knowledge exists because God is knowledge and he's the giver of knowledge. And God cannot unlearn something because he's never been taught by anything. And since he has not been taught by anything, all that actually happens, it is impossible for God to literally forget. From a metaphorical standpoint or uh, um, uh, a, a standpoint of maybe hyperbole, uh, so to speak, if I'm using that word correctly, just from the standpoint, God forgets on the basis of our sins uh, when we are born again. He's not going to hold us uh, responsible for that because we're covered by the blood. We're not going to be sent to the lake of fire and damnation. However, God it is impossible for him to forget something because that is a uh, logical contradiction. God cannot forget that which he is. He is knowledge, therefore, uh, and he is omniscient, so all knowledge is within him. So God can't forget something, otherwise that thing would go outside of God, and that would we would begin to enter realms where we say, well, if God can literally forget something, then this thing can exist on its own, this bit of information outside of God. This little bit of information can go into a realm or domain that God no longer has access to because he's forgotten it, he can't remember it. And that's to take even that little thing outside of God. And we know nothing exists outside of God. We live and move and have our being in God. And all things were created by God and for God. And they exist within God. John 1 conveys this. Uh, Ephesians 4, 6 and 4, 10, I believe. Uh, and Romans and all everywhere in scripture, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything truly exists within God. So, is it possible for God to literally forget? The answer to that is no. Uh, he does when we are covered by the blood uh, from a standpoint of saying that he's not going to hold us responsible for that when we're born again. But nonetheless, he doesn't literally forget that because someone who has never been taught anything in his knowledge himself cannot forget anything because all knowledge is derived from him and there is no knowledge that comes outside of him. And the knowledge that is that God permits and sustains cannot go outside of him because nothing exists outside of him who is unlimited, boundless, unrestricted, and eternal.